you uh, like to be hands-on, you like something different all, all the time, then getting into the heavy construction industry is a good choice. Um, it's something different every day, and you have fun at it. And you can travel wherever you want, let's get your ticket, and do whatever you want. The thing I like about being a heavy duty mechanic is uh, working outside, working with my hands, uh, being able to uh, build things, repair things, take things apart, using my brains to work through problems. Those are some of the things I really enjoy about being a mechanic. I think I took apart my first lawnmower on the kitchen table and then put it all back together and and then when it fired up, I was just so happy, and I think that's pretty much what sold me right from there. Well, if you're going to be successful in this job, I think, first of all, you have to have a good work ethic, especially if you're an operator. You can't just not show up one day because then nothing gets done. And, uh, I mean, you have to be slightly coordinated and have good depth perception. And you have to be patient, I think. I think the main qualities we really want is you have to have a certain amount of math skills. There's a lot of numbers in our trades out here, be it a crane operator, uh, an excavator, a dozer. There's, there's math you have to understand and you have to have a certain amount of pride in what you do. You have to want to do a good job and you have to be able or willing to... There's a little bit of physical labor in this. You know, it's really good money, it's a good job and everything, but you have to be willing to once in a while, we are going to get dirty what we do and you have to be not afraid of, of that kind of labor. You know, if you go into the operating engineers and, uh, you know, you want to operate a piece of heavy equipment, the one thing you got to realize is that, you know, you, you have to be responsible because that piece of equipment is generally not just you and that piece of equipment. That piece of equipment is feeding a whole crew. Well, you got to want to work first and foremost. You got to be able to stand long days and stuff like that. But the benefit of it all is you get tight with the guys and you learn lots. You know, you run different pieces of equipment. So there's an opportunity, if you want to work, to go ahead. And it'd be, it's a good opportunity, actually. Don't expect to do a nine to five job. It's, it's the kind of job where it requires dedication. Uh, the rewards are, of course, uh, every two weeks you get the paycheck, and that's usually the big reward. Luckily, working a union job, we get fair wages for good work done. I would say if you know, if you have the mechanical background and you like working hard and want to get out in the industry, this is the industry to get into right now because we are busy and, and we need you. We need you now.